Art Nerd and welcome to my channel and welcome to another review. Today we are reviewing paint pens. Bo Bolsher. Bolshire. Bo Bolshire. 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 B O J E C H E R. Bolshire. I don't know how to pronounce it. As you know, I use loads and loads of paint pens. The two brands I prefer and love are Posca and Molotov. The first thing about the Boishas, Boishas, Bishas are the price. The 12 pens, these are £15.69 for 12 pens. Now, that works out at £1.30 a pen. Compare that to roughly the same size nib in the Poskas and the Molotovs. The Poskas work at about £3.50. The Molotovs work out, not this size, one that's about the same size as these, work out about £3.75. So these are incredibly cheaper, more than half price per pen. So are these better, worse, or somewhere in the middle compared to the big boys in the paint pen market? Let's uh, take a closer look at the Boishas. Boishas, Boishas, Boishas. So here is what you get for the £15. You get a pack of all these pens in a clear wallet. You get a white, a orange, a purple, a pink, a black, a blue, a yellow, a red, two greens, a silver and a gold. I don't know why there's two greens. That's a weird colour to pick two of. The first thing you notice on the package, there is no branding. And on the paint pens, there is no branding either. It doesn't say that Bolsher anywhere, which makes me think they've just rebranded it and bought a bachelor. So probably that was another word for cheap. The major thing I noticed straight away, look. There is hardly any paint slash ink in these at all. Look at that. It's, what, less than 25% of the whole pen. This is obviously how they keep it cheap and a weeny bit unforgivable, I think. That is not enough ink. Nowhere near. They feel real good in the hand. Ergonomically, very, very nice and nothing wrong with them. And there you can see the nib. One end is that round and the other end is sort of diagonal with a little pointy on them to get a thin strip, I guess, to make it detailed. It does fit extremely hard, which is a bit worrying. Uh, that side's about four mil, maybe five. Uh, the end of that's one mil, so very, very fine. And as always, you just twist the top off like with all and you can refit it there, which is good because there's no ink in it. And yeah, the nib is a touch on the hard side. Um, and as all these paint pens, you just pump the end to get the ink out or the paint. Again, this came out extremely quickly. If you use a Posca Molotov, that takes a while, which indicates the paint is very, very, very thin. And as you can see, when I'm doodling with it, it's very shiny, which indicates it is a bit on the thin side. Same with the blue. But the colors are really nice. They're really vibrant, which I'm really impressed with. I wasn't expecting them to be quite so vibrant. Um, and with the uh, angular nib, you can get really thin lines and some nice big fat lines, really sort of calligraphy, calligraphy like, uh, really nice. Um, only problem is, is here is a black, which I've been using for a couple of days. And as you can see, the ink's running out and the nib's getting very scratchy. The ink itself is nice, but there's not enough of it. And the nib being so solid is causing those scratchy lines when the ink's not flowing perfectly because there's not much in there. So now let's test the ink in these bad boys. Let's see what it's like. So the coverage here, I'm just doing an example with a Posca, a nice Posca red, as you can see, pretty good. A few lines you can see in it. And now I'm doing with the blue, um, as you can automatically see the ink's coming out much faster and it's making a much wetter surface. Um, and you can see little bits of the card are coming off because it's getting so wet. Again, indication this ink is very, very thin. Um, it does feel like a felt tip and it is causing that felt tip effect. And you can see it's very scratchy. Um, it will smudge after you put it on straight away, which is nice. Um, it's just some people like that in these paint pens. Um, and then that, this one was left for about a minute and no smudge. So that's a real positive that that ink dries fast, which is a really good pro um, thing and problem you have with some pens when they don't dry fast. Different surfaces. As you see, it was absolutely fine on card. That's what I was using. Um, and now I tried it on paper. Um, again, I'm repeating myself, but because the ink is so thin, the paper is breaking up a bit. On a flat, nice bit of wood, it works really nicely. That hard nib comes into its own, and because the the ink is thinner, it's going into the wood nicely. And then on this rougher piece, this hand sawn bit, really nice. Because the ink is thin, it's absorbing, it's given a really good coverage. Uh, the hard nib is standing up to it. Impressive, nice. Uh, just on a tile, perfect. They should be fine on, on these type of tiles, these pens, and it is absolutely lovely. And canvas, because the nib is a bit on the uh, rough side, it does split out a bit the paint um, but it's overall pretty good and this canvas was on prime so yeah it works fine on canvas as well I would say not quite as good as the Molotov and the Posca but very very close very nice and now we're trying it on brick wall this is really for the street artists um, again because of the thin ink it goes on really nice but the problem is 
it would probably run out after about 19 lines. Um, there's a big important thing which you need when you're a street artist, and that is how waterproof is the um, ink. Not very at all. That was left for about a minute, and look at that. It's just coming straight off the wall. So if you're a street artist, don't even bother looking at these guys. I was surprised at how bad that was actually. Awful. And then this is on a bit of wood just to see if it was the texture. And no, look at that. It's coming straight off. So don't ever use these outside. So to conclude, are these guys better than these guys? No, not even close. These are, these are nowhere near as good as the Molotov and the Posca. Not in the same league. But they really do have a place, and I think for people watching this video, these are a brilliant starting point. First off, if you're a street artist and you're doing street art, don't even bother looking at these. They're no good. And they're just never gonna compete with these two. So keep to these if you're doing the street art. But I have found myself using these a lot in the studio. They're, they're brilliant for sketching up things and they're good for craft. And that's what I think these pens are. These are craft pens. These are for people at home doing craft. They are not fine art pens, but that does not mean they don't have a place in my studio and I will be buying more of these. Of course, the fact there's hardly any ink in each one is very disappointing and I'm assuming that's why it's so cheap. And also the fact that you have to buy the whole pack, you can't just buy one pen if it runs out, which I think automatically puts these into the crafty kiddie market again instead of the professional world. So I think they're good and I think if you wanna try out paint pens, go get these. I will be leaving links down below so you can go and get them. Um, and they're definitely worth a shot if you want to test out paint pens and you don't want to spend the ludicrous amount that the Poscas and the Molotovs are. A mark out of five Steve faces, I will give these three and a half. They're good, but they're not great, but they have their place. So, um, Boisha, well done, but put more ink in them for God's sake.